Hey, baby. Um, today is the day that I get to marry you. The most amazing woman in the world. This is it, girl. You are gonna be ready. You look so beautiful. I don't even have to see you. I know you put so much effort into this day. You look so beautiful. I am so happy and so excited to marry you. And I cannot wait to see you for the first time. I love you. You've made it. <laughs> yes, all the planning is done. And now is your time to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because in about 25 minutes, you'll be standing here in front of all of us and Jehovah God, vowing your love for each other. Today, November 3rd has finally arrived. Looking back when we first met, to thinking about today, wow, it's been an amazing and crazy adventure. Today, I become your wife, something I've been looking forward to saying. I thank Jehovah every day to have you by my side as my best friend and now husband. I didn't think that this day was possible for me. I had a lot of walls and you broke them down. You've given me so much happiness this past year. It is enough happiness to last me forever. June 12, 2017, at basketball started it all, when the conversation turned from goofy to a serious one, and we realized we had a lot more in common than just basketball, and now it turned into a great friendship into something that will last forever. To be able to spend forever with you is overwhelming, considering how overwhelmed and enjoyed I am after a year. You've given me so much to laugh about, too many moments to count, I thank Jehovah each and every day for you. Avery, I'm in awe of you. The unconditional love you show me every minute of every day, I feel so honored to be in love with you. We've grown so much and I look forward to growing more and more with you. That includes finally being able to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. Don't worry, that day will come. It might be in the new world, but it will come. <laughs> May Jehovah be that very needed third cause to keep your marriage well balanced. We all love you very much. Thank you. Now what's interesting is I had Avery and Renee text me some things about why they fell in love with each other. And I had to say, it was really mushy-gushy. <laughs> but there is something out of there that I picked out of both text messages. You both appreciated each other's spiritual qualities. Continue to do that. Appreciate your relationship with Jehovah. Continue to work on that. And every challenge that comes up, if you work it as a team and apply Bible principles, even though it might be hard, you will be successful. I, Brian Ebrey Curtis, take you, Renee Young, to be my wedded wife, I, Renee Young, take you, Brian Avery Curtis, to be my wedded husband, to love and to cherish, and deeply respect, for as long as we both shall live. It is my happy pleasure to introduce to this marriage gathering, brother and sister, Avery and Renee Curtis. You may now kiss the bride.